What up Trusted Signals family? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to go over the trend meter using Trusted Signals. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date to all the releases and all the upcoming content that Trusted Signals has to offer. You don't want to miss out. We're going to have some very special announcements coming very soon and a bunch of free content on how to properly use our tools. I hope you guys like this video. Let's go! Welcome back. Let's go ahead and dive into this. So here we have chain link pulled up. The strength meter is great for cryptocurrency. I have this as an example for us to dive in what the strength meter does and how to use it in your trade arsenal. It's very simple to use. Whenever you see a blue alert over these five channels, it indicates that we are in a bullish trend. The market is moving to the top side. So if there is a red line like you see here, then it indicates that we are in a bearish trend. For example, if you see that there is a blue line here or a blue alert, it is a great idea to prepare yourself to take only these buy entries. You would want to enter on these buy entries every single time they come in if the trend meter shows bullish. The same goes for a bearish alert. Another great thing, like all of our tools, it works on every single time frame. If you go to the one hour, for instance, it's going to tell you that we're in a bullish trend. So you could have taken this signal or any following signal that comes in as a buy as long as you see that we are in a bullish trend. Okay, let's carry on. I'm going to go back into the four hour. All right. So here looking at Chainlink, being that now we're in a bullish market and the cryptocurrencies are finally moving in a bullish direction, not only do we have the confirmation with our EMA cloud, and if you haven't seen our EMA cloud video, look back at our previous videos so that way you can understand how the EMA cloud works. But we also have the second confirmation here from the trend meter showing that we are in a bullish market. Like I said in the past, it would be a good idea to only enter on the buy signals, which also, if you want, you could turn off these sell signals. So that way you are only looking at the buy signals that come onto the chart. I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that on another video. Right now, I'm only going over the trend meter. All right, so let's dive into the settings. In order to dive into the settings, you need to click on these points here. Now, once you double click here, you'll see that you have full control over this parameter. What this does is it's going to give you an alert based on how many meters need to be blue or red in order for a alert like this one to pop up. I have four, so one, two, three, four, and boom, I will have a bullish alert on the trend meter. But if you were to bring this down, now three, if I have one, two, three, then you have a bearish alert pop in. I like to keep everything at default. As I said before, this has been extremely well thought out. So I like to keep things on default unless I find a particular chart that works better with different settings. But this is the trend meter and the trend meter is plug and go. It's ready to go. All you need to do is click it and add it to your chart. And if you don't know how to add these indicators to your chart, please do watch the setup tutorial that we have on the previous videos. Well, this wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed this video explaining how to use the trend meter on trust and signals again don't forget to like and subscribe hit that subscribe button hit that like button share this video with your friends and family who are looking to find better trading tools that's going to improve their trading system once again trusted signals family let's go